I've done the brackets. A lot of people are asking me to create a video on how to install using our HPO system. And in fact, it is pretty simple. If you're looking to save time on labor and have a nice clean look, I suggest you watch this video and the photo montage that I put up for you. So it's an HPO system. There's no more routing. That's the thing of the past. The groove accepts the rails. The inside accepts a two by two steel and we screw and plug and give it that nice finishing look. So again, there's no more routing. It's an HPO system and I'm glad to show you guys how to install it. And it's very simple. It has a 30 year warranty also. Uh, it withstands minus 70 degree temperature, 110 kilometer an hour winds, virgin vinyl. The UV protection is through it. So here what we do, we dig our holes four foot deep, bell bottom holes, but check your local building code to see how deep you should dig. And we've obviously had pre-dug all the holes. Uh, we have a cement truck waiting for us there. So what we do is we fill the hole with our concrete. And I usually like to go about two inches below the grass level. Nice string line. Grab the two by two steel posts, magnetic level. We drive it in, make sure everything is leveled in the plumb, and then we usually move on to the next. Now, between your steel, our rails are 96 and a quarter inch, so you got to make sure you're about 96 and a half between steel. You can cut this just like anything on a miter saw, etc. So, in about an hour and a half, we cemented 33 holes or posts. We put the so put the topsoil on there, make sure everything was clean, etc. And then we knew it was raining that weekend, so what we did is we uh, put up some bags there to cover the hole so water doesn't get in. You can use elastics, probably works better too. You can save the bags, etc. Now when installing these posts, you just slide them in. The front posts always flat, especially in this case there's a gate, so we want uh, support top to have some grooves to go in and I'll show you how to start the fence when it's on a flat how you how, how we get that going the rest though all the grooves will face each other and then we'll grab uh, what we have uh, inch and a quarter screws and we'll secure the post to the steel that we've uh, just inserted on and we usually put about two or three screws now to start off the corner, because it's a flat area, we use a U-channel. This is a double wall U-channel, the best out there. And the rail will just slide right in there and fit inside the panel. And in this case, we're going to use two and a quarter inch screws so that we can hit the U-channel, the wall of the post, and then hit the steel in behind so that it uh, makes sure that it's nice and solid. Now, our bottom rails all have an aluminum I-beam. All right, so that's for extra support. So just slide that in there. So once your posts are all into place and they're all secured, all you gotta do is put in the rail in one end and then you know, put it in the other, make sure it fits snug. And we'll level it off in just a second. And what we do to, to secure the rail is on the outer layer of the post, we're going to drill a 5 8 hole. And then we're going to insert our screw, which is going to hit the inner layer of the post, the rail, the steel, and then the inner layer of the outer post. So it's pretty simple. Just one little screw. We often put two at the bottom and then one on top, but in this montage, we got, we got the one here. And then we'll grab the plug. And the beauty about this is that the customer wants it lowered or raised. It's not low enough to the ground. You can actually take out the screw and put it at the level that you need to. And the plug makes it a nice clean finish. And just to show you how much labor you can save here, this panel here was made to fit, so there's 17 boards going in there with the bottom rails, so the bottom rail is already in there, but uh, challenge you to do it with your routed system. 
and see how long it will take you to route the foams, put in the boards, put in the top rail, etc. Our boards all lock, as you can see they just stand up straight, they all lock within each other. I'll show you something a bit later on how strong and lockable these boards are. So, so far we're at just about four minutes. Bottom rail and all the boards are up. And we just gotta slide in the top rail. Or holes and usually put them on the inside. And put in the screws. We put in the plugs and look at that, about six minutes per panel. So one guy, six minutes, panel got done. Again, no routing, H pro system. One of the best out there in the market today. And as you can see, I was telling you the boards, they all lock into place. So look, you can wiggle it around, you can hold it up, so it helps big time on withstanding the wind. And just makes it lot easier to work with. And as you can tell, with the H bolts, you can actually follow the land, or you can do in this case for this customer is we, we had a filler piece at the bottom for the gaps and keeps everything nice and square.